on why Mexicans should not use the N-word. Because Emiliano Zapata was part black. Because Lupita Nyong'o was born in Mexico. Because Indian and black runaway slaves from Quilombos that fought off slave hunters for decades. Because they filled their prisons with black and brown bodies just like they did their ships. The criminal justice system is the new middle passage. Police brutality, the new genocide. Because Vicente Guerrero, the first black president in North America, threatened war against the United States if they tried capturing any runaway slave in Mexico because La Bamba was an African song sung by slaves in the fields of Veracruz. Hermano, I like hip hop too. And I understand that your fair rapper drops this word every other line, so tell me this. How many times have you smiled every time someone's called you a beaner? Hermana, does it make you want to wave your hands up in the air like you just don't care when someone calls you a wetback? Come on, we are so fly, they call us illegal aliens. We are so sexy, they call us dirty Mexicans. You should not play music for your ignorance when you say this word. Does it feel as if you have a cotton gin fan tied around your tongue? Does your mouth feel as bloody as Fubel Station? Does it feel like you're a strange fruit, a broken branch dangling, swaying and surrounded by clansmen and children cheering because there is one less of you, hermano y hermana. They used to hang us too for questioning orders for rejecting white men, for acting too brown. And I understand that you grew up in the barrio, that it is hard to see a link between a black struggle and ours. And for this, they have given you number 13. Blue and red, black and yellow, same tactics they used 500 years ago. They teach us now so that we can finish killing each other off. And I know that it is hard to see a link between a black struggle and ours. And for this, they have given you shitty Schools that are waiting to spit you out. They invest more in your failure than in your success. But you are so much more than this. So much more than any news, than any tree that they can find. Your mouth does not have to speak as if it had a burning cross for a tongue. I know you have an inferno for a throat. I've seen this. When you raise your hand to question, hey, mister, why does the policeman keep stopping my uncle? Hey, mister, why does the government want to deport my family? You have so much power in your voice, so much rage in the ocean that sleeps in your mouth. So let the moon pull the waves to wash away the master's language, to turn this water into a typhoon that their walls and their guns will not be able to contain. And then they will know the teachings that they have tried so hard to educate out of us, but that our ancestors always knew that black and brown have always been and will fucking always be beautiful.